Okay, next question. I teach personal finance, which is a semester long required class for all students. Mostly juniors and seniors take it. If I let you teach for two days on a financial topic that you think is crucial for high school students to understand, what would you teach? Uh, that's a great question. Um, if I could only teach one topic for two days, I would teach um, statistical reasoning. And um, the reason is that that's much broader, a way of thinking about the world which incorporates risk and uncertainty is I think the key to making good financial decisions, investment decisions. Understanding that when you put your money in the stock market, you're getting a higher return because you're also accepting more risk. On average, it'll pay off more than keeping your money in the bank, but there's some risk to doing that. And so if you need the money in three months, you probably shouldn't be investing it because in the short run, there's lots of fluctuation, but in the long run, you can be pretty confident that the return will average out to being higher. So whether you need the money in 30 years or three months makes a big difference to make an investment decision. Um, I think also just in general, that understanding uncertainty and understanding patterns in data so that you don't, so, so that you buy low and sell high um, is a really important thing, understanding when, val when you're going to get value. Um, I personally think that uh, all high school cur math curricula should de-emphasize calculus in favor of statistics because statistics is so important for analyzing data and understanding the world. That's a longer topic than you probably um, wanted to get into, but it's something that I feel pretty strongly about. Calculus is um, important for a small subset of professions. Statistics is important for life.